In mathematics, a dense graph is a graph in which the number of edges is close to the maximal number of edges. The opposite, a graph with only a few edges, is a sparse graph. The distinction between sparse and dense graphs is rather vague, and depends on the context. For undirected simple graphs, the graph density is defined as. For directed simple graphs, the graph density is defined as. Where E is the number of edges and V is the number of vertices in the graph. The maximum number of edges is one half V, so the maximal density is one and the minimal density is zero. Upper density. Upper density is an extension of the concept of graph density defined above from finite graphs to infinite graphs. Intuitively, an infinite graph has arbitrarily large finite subgraphs with any density less than its upper density, and does not have arbitrarily large finite subgraphs with density greater than its upper density. Formally, the upper density of a graph G is the infimum of the values alpha such that the finite subgraphs are G with density alpha have a bounded number of vertices. It can be shown using the Erdos-Stone theorem that the upper density can only be one or one of the superpartycular ratios 0, 1 half, 2 thirds, 3 quarters, 4 fifths, n. Sparse and type graphs. Lee and Strynu and Strynu and there and define a graph as being sparse if every non-empty subgraph with n vertices has at most knots minus L edges and tight if it is sparse and has exactly knots minus L edges. Thus trees are exactly the tight graphs, forests are exactly the sparse graphs, and graphs with arboricity K are exactly the sparse graphs. Pseudo-forests are exactly the sparse graphs, and the Lehman graphs arising in rigidity theory are exactly the tight graphs. Other graph families not characterized by their sparsity can also be described in this way. For instance the fact that any planar graph with n vertices has at most 3 n6 edges, and that any subgraph of a planar graph is planar, together imply that the planar graphs are sparse. However, not every sparse graph is planar. Similarly, outer planar graphs are sparse and planar bipartite graphs are sparse. Strynu and Therin show that testing sparsity may be performed in polynomial time when k and l are integers and 0 l less than 2 k. For a graph family, the existence of k and l such that the graphs in the family are all sparse is equivalent to the graphs in the family having bounded degeneracy or having bounded arboricity. More precisely, it follows from a result of Nash-Williams that the graphs of arboricity at most are exactly the sparse graphs. Similarly, the graphs of degeneracy at most e are exactly the 2, 1, sparse graphs. Sparse and dense classes of graphs. Nesitra and Osina de Mendez considered that the sparsity-density dichotomy makes it necessary to consider infinite graph classes instead of single graph instances. They defined some are dense graph classes as those classes of graphs for which there exists a threshold T such that every complete graph appears as a T subdivision in a subgraph of a graph in the class. To the contrary, if such a threshold does not exist, the class is nowhere dense. Properties of the nowhere dense versus somewhere dense dichotomy are discussed in Nesitril and Osina de Mendez. The classes of graphs with bounded degeneracy and of nowhere dense graphs are both included in the biclique free graphs. Graph families that exclude some complete bipartite graph as a subgraph.